Okay, in this video, we go over how to construct a frequency distribution, a relative frequency, and a percent frequency, and also how to build a bar chart of these. And the data that we're going to use, so this, is, this is chapter two stuff, I'm going to go to the lecture files, and I'm going to go get the lecture data file chapter two. I'm going to open it up, and we need to go to the go to the pizza prep worksheet. So what this data is, it's asking people's preference on the pizzas, and these are the responses. So what we're going to do is, I want to know how many people chose Little Caesars, how many times Papa John's, how many times Pizza Hut. There's Bruno's. So you can see this data is not ordered, and the question is, how can I come up with a count? This data is clearly qualitative data. This is qualitative data. And because it's qualitative data, the only thing you can do is count it. You can count. You can't take averages. You can't take any, do any other calculations. You can count. You can come up with frequencies. That's what a count is. It's a frequency. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use a pivot table. So I'm going to go over, put my cursor somewhere on this, and I'm going to go under insert pivot table. And this pops up. And look what it did. It grabbed the data from A1 to A51. It's because I had my cursor in this. If for whatever reason it didn't grab the data correctly, you could always just go grab it. Like that. And I'm going to generate and put the, the pivot table in a new worksheet. So I'm going to say OK. When we come up with this, and then I'm going to drop preference in this, and look what happens just like that. When I pull this into this rows, it listed every pizza uh, location that was uh, given. So just like that, I know there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I could have put it there, or I could have put it there if I want to see it by columns or rows. I like rows. It's a lot easier to read. Now I need to come up with what measure, what statistic am I interested in. And so I'm going to draw this, drop this field over into the values. And because it's qualitative data, the only thing it can do is count. So just like that, that is a frequency distribution. I know that eight people chose Bruno's, two people chose Domino's, Nine people chose Little Caesars. There were 50 total responses. Now I'm going to grab this data. I'm going to grab it. Left click and drag. Left click and drag. And then I'm going to right click. Copy. I'm going to move it somewhere. And do a paste special. And just get the values like that. Now this is a pivot table. This is not a pivot table. This is a, is a frequency. Now I'm going to, how do I get a relative frequency? This is something that, a relative frequency. A relative frequency is a probability. It's a number between 0 and 1. It tells me 8 out of how many. So to calculate a relative frequency, you just take the frequency and divide by the total. And because I'm going to copy this down, I'm going to put some dollar signs around my total, my denominator. And copy this down for these. Like that. And then guess what these should sum to? One. This should sum to one because it's looking at a relative frequency. So 16, and if I take that same, so 16.16 is the, uh, the relative amount that shows Bruno's. If I take this whole thing and just copy, and I'm going to come over here and paste special, just the values again, not the formulas. But now I'm going to show all of this as a percent. That is a relative percent frequency. So you'll need that for the homework. 
Hey, I want you to build a chart. We could easily build a chart. I'm gonna go back and grab this. Notice I'm not grabbing the grand total and I'm gonna build a chart. You want a bar chart? There you go. Choose the first one, like that. You could have also done it from the pivot table itself, but I'm using static values. I think that's easiest. So I use the pivot table to grab the data. I copied it over and then I'm building, doing things off this. How about a pie chart? I can do the same thing. When you have counts, you can do bar charts or pie charts. You can easily have built a pie chart. Put it somewhere else. Again, color makes a difference. Obviously, if you've got a lot of slices, it's uh, it's harder to uh, to see, but that, that works. So there, there's a pie chart. And from this, you can answer questions. You can see Papa John's is, is chosen most and Domino's is chosen least. Okay, so that shows you how to uh, construct frequency diagrams. Thanks.